Hey everyone, it's Erin Flutter here and I am here to show you my next weekly. I actually did this as a live stream with my gold tier patrons. So I'm going to be doing a lot of weird things and talking with my hands during this uh, whole setup. But I still wanted to share this with you because I uh, promised that one one weekly won't uh, be shown because that is exclusive to my patrons. However, uh, this is not that one. So I wanted to make sure I still provided this to you anyways. So at the beginning, I made this custom little sheet of stickers so that I can uh, make the little headers for each day of the week. I decided to go through the middle of the page this time just for a little bit of change of pace. I still like verticals, but I just, I don't know, I was like a little bored of doing the header at the top, so I decided to switch it up. So I use my little mini stencil to do little habit trackers here. So I just alternated between the top and the bottom doing the little habit trackers. I used uh, the mini stencil, it's from my shop, and I only used seven, uh, six of them, <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah, I only used six of them for each daily. And then I went over it in pen later. I just kind of wanted a little bit of a not perfect feel to it. <laughs> my husband brought me fries and a shake, so that's what was happening during this live stream. I was eating some fries and a shake. Of course, this is the Shamrock Shake from McDonald's since uh, it is that time of year, and I'm gonna have it as much as possible. So again, I use these little stickers uh, that I cut out. I use this along the bottom for my habits so I can tell which uh, block on each daily is for what habit. So I'm just gonna list them across the bottom. I feel like that's a non-intrusive way of doing that. that. I realized that I put one extra box on Thursday, so I'm gonna figure out in a little bit how to cover that up. This is kind of where the live stream took a fun, wacky, ridiculous turn, and I'm living for it. So thank you to my patrons that joined uh, for this weekly. It was a blast. And so yeah, I'm talking about it a lot, trying to figure out how I'm going to deal with that situation. Um, I realized that because this is a stationary showdown weekly, I can do a lot. And here I am explaining like what my plans are. Um, so because this is the stationary showdown, I feel like I can get away with using a lot of different types of materials. I, I don't know. It's just, um, you know, the feel of the stationary showdown is using as many different types of stationary tools as possible. So I decide to use a lot of stickers, to use stencils, um, to use post-it flags. I, I use a lot of different things during the course of this weekly and it was a lot of fun um, coming up with all the different things that I was gonna do. So like I said, I'm just putting the habits along the bottom. So I realized that I didn't leave quite enough room for that sticker so I just put it on the top right uh, because I'm just going to put the events up on the top section of this weekly and then put all the tasks on the bottom except for the weekend where you know it's just a mishmash. So now I decide to bring in markers to do my little habits. I was trying to figure out what the sixth marker was going to be. I decide later on just to do it black and so I can fill in each of these habits um, with each of the different colors so it's a nice ombre effect. And this is kind of a sneak peek for this kit that is going to come out in November because these headers are going to be included in that kit. I Every year I do my annual kit so all of the designs that I did through the course of the year get released as a big annual kit for anyone that wants to do those themes afterwards. So that's kind of the idea there. I decided to go with black, like I said, for the last day. Again, my Thursday is a little bit wacky because I accidentally added an extra. And then, I don't know what I'm talking about when I brought that other vinyl piece in, but I, I'm i just listing events across the top. And then, oh yeah, I was just showing them one of the pieces that I was working on for the stationary showdown. And then I found all of these different 
um, stickers from Happy Planner that I just have lying around. So I decided to add some little gold accents in here and that's gonna help me um, <laughs> fill in the space with the mistake that I made. There's no whiteout for a craft notebook, so you kind of have to get inventive and uh, just do what you got to do. So I added a whole bunch of stars all over the place from one of these happy planner sheets. And again, because I have all these different <laughs> tools, I decided to add some more stickers uh, to the weekly just because I thought it would be a lot of fun. I think this weekend uh, my husband and I might go somewhere, so I put get out and go for there. It was a suggestion by one of my patrons, Cara, to add that little fierce sticker to find some balance to the weekly and then I add of course some more stars because why not add more stickers to the weekly and this is when I found these page vlogs and the live stream just went into complete chaos because the they were just so funny looking but then I was like you know what I'm committing so I did the post-its and just <laughs> added these creepy looking cats to my uh, page these were dollar page flags from Target yeah uh, they don't stick very well they're not very good they're very creepy but it was a lot of fun to put this weekly together uh, I end up dressing a bunch of these up and we talk about how these cats are probably gonna kill us so I add <laughs> A little bit of a hat to this one. This is the classy cat. Uh, he has a top hat and a monocle and he has like a sweater vest on and all that kind of stuff. So he is the the classy one uh, but they're all aiming to kill us according to my patrons. So it's it was a lot of fun doing this live stream with them. Um, if you're interested this is for the $10 tier. I do uh, live streams with them as well as with all of my patrons, but my uh, $10 and up patrons get a special two live streams uh, and hangouts. Sometimes it's me just showing things that are coming to the shop or ideas or getting ideas from them. Um, and then sometimes like this time was me setting up a weekly. It was then suggested that this cat should have a bow tie, so I went in and added a white bow tie with my white jelly roll as well. I think that ends up making him look extremely classy, and I'm I'm all about it. It's a lot of fun. I started adding my uh, tasks in while my patrons were talking and giving me ideas for other stuff. Um, I don't know. It's just it's a lot of fun sitting down and talking to them while. I'm working on this and I can be a little bit more distracted. So this was a lot of talking and searching so I just sped this up a little bit more. I ended up adding this uh, little green shamrock shake to one of the other cats and I gave him a nice tattoo as well. Um, just a little four leaf clover tattoo uh, for St. Patrick's Day. And then during the live stream, we ended up talking about the coronavirus, so I went ahead and made one of the cats a doctor because I thought that that would be fun. 
Uh, the cat came and interrupted everything, which of course he did. He was knocking over my camera, all of the kinds of things. I try to get all the camera back in line. Uh, it's a little bit angled, but that's fine. But I end up adding um, a little uh, face mask, some a stethoscope, and a white jacket for the doctor cats. And if that wasn't enough, I also add a winky face to the last one that is quote unquote normal, but honestly is not. <laughs> so that was my spread. Um, I had a lot of fun with you guys. So thank you to my patrons that joined me for the gold stream live. If you want to join more again, go to patreon.com slash designs and you can join us for our next live stream because it was a lot of fun and I appreciate you guys so much. So thanks for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.